game. I can check on the stats real quick. We'll get we'll get you back on yeah. that chat. So Either Meta Knight will actually be incredibly hard to end guard. He's got a very good, go! fast recovery. He's got several options, so we're gonna see how how these two handle out each other. So we're starting Meta Knight, starting our strong. Getting some early damage, 38 on. Yeah, we did. yeah Meta Knight is a very is a character that uh, very much relies on hard reads, I've noticed, especially at a, at a very high level. Mm. Um, because it, his combos are great, but most of them are, you know, and all that, so mostly he's gonna probably be looking for maybe throwing some teleports oh, PK Thunder. and stuff. PK Thunder fizzles. Oh. Then Knight's going off stage trying to recover. Trying to, trying to capitalize Ooh. on that PK fire. Punishes the recovery. <laughs> trying to get back on stage. Tries to get another one, getting a big greedy with that. You can tell, unlike what you were saying, a poor, a poor, uh, Aporia? Aporia is really working to play more neutral rather than going three off Which is stage. weird. Maybe that was a matchup thing because I personally played Joker, so maybe he has different maybe, strategies for each of them. Yeah, he's, pro he's trying, probably trying to gimp you for the uh, for Joker our is actually, his, reco his recovery is very linear. Even with his grappling hook, you know where he, what path he's going to travel depending on where he is. So, True. Uh, but with Meta Knight, he probably knows that that's not going to be an option, so he probably knows that his only chance to win is to actually play the neutral. He's doing a fairly good job, yeah. even though he's slightly behind. He is attacking on damage. Meta Knight's 112, easy kill percent. Especially if a uh, PK freeze comes along somehow, yeah. but I don't think that's gonna come out too often due to Meta Knight's quick recovery. Yeah. So let's see if Meta Knight can get some up air strings. Meta Knight's playing very bait and punish, but once he gets those uh, openings, he just goes in and he does not, he doesn't let up. Lucas just trying to find his big opening. He's throwing out those smash attacks, hoping he'll fall into at least one of them so he can gain momentum back. But been a nice it's link. It's not first. working out. Oh, PK Ooh. Fire gets back on neutral. Jeez, that took him halfway. That took him across the entire stage. I don't know what his game plan was Ooh, there. Maybe smash that was a hard read. He gets punished for it. You see the dash dance. It isn't looking good. It's not looking not. good. Not impossible, but definitely not impossible. <laughs> Aporia is just struggling to get that one final kill shot on Linus, and he is getting punished for it. Already at 35, he has to make a comeback for three stocks. It's a tough mountain to climb. Lucas does have many, uh, very many kill options, but uh, the problem is most of those kill options require you to get a hard read, which we're seeing from this Lucas player right now. Gets the down. Gets it. It's, it's I believe he two framed him with that uh, with that down smash right there. Very good quality of the move. He's trying to recover. Tries to jump out a ledge and attack, but that does. Oh, was that that must have been a misinput? That must have. Either that, yeah. I'm pretty sure he could have made it back. Okay, they both players played really well that game. They're both trying to get into each other through neutral, but it seems like Aporia just had or. Linus just had that little bit of upper hand in most of the interactions. Yeah. Lucas is very momentum based, so he's looking for those openings and the hard reads, but the problem is when Meta Knight uh, gets in, he has much more availability to combo strings and such. Whereas Lucas kind of relies on bad DI or no air dodging in order to get his combos. True. Whereas with Meta Knight, you can just you can go for Ooh, we're seeing the Sweena, Sheik swap to Sheik. He's either feeling incredibly confident or he feels that he can win by even more with this character. So we're going to find that out. We'll see how the results happen and see which one he gets. Starting off. All right. Yeah, I have not seen any pro sheets besides obviously like Void, but like, you know, I mean like local players, I haven't seen any Sheik. And there's a reason for that. But uh, Sheik and Meta Knight do have very similar play styles. True. Which work out in his favor. Except it might be a little less vertical game plan, a little bit more horizontal. Yeah. Let's see how that. Oh, I can see where you're getting from. Two frames. Oh, here we go. Here's that famous edge guarding I was talking about. So he's just covering as many options as he can. Spot dodge saved him from the kill right there. Depends on how much he would scoop. Is he up tilt? Trying to figure out something. Lucas seeming very dominant Ooh, in this match. Aporia is just attacking on damage. Damage, damage, and I don't think Linus is prepared right now. I think he was a bit overconfident in his pick. Yeah, I think 
I think also Meta Knight was probably a better pick against Lucas in general because while he does have very small disjoints, at least he has disjoints to work with. Whereas Lucas mostly needs to rely on close range combat because if you react to his long range stuff, like it really doesn't matter. The only threatening things are PK freeze off stage, but even then, uh, if you um, if you recover correctly, it's not a big threat. Yeah, true. He is just he is moving. This game. Ooh. Ooh. Line is trying to quickly counter it and get that stock off of It all seemed hopeless, but he's actually bringing this back quite he a bit. Could bring it back. Hopefully it's not commentator's crit. It's commentator's crit. Uh, gets the forward smash, forward but doesn't, doesn't clean it out. Good uh, DI. Kalos is a very good big stage. Yeah, good DI by Aporia, plus the stage. So this could... I think... I think Aporia's stage choice here really benefiting him because she cannot kill him. This is, I believe, the biggest stage. Maybe Town and City is, but... Uh, yeah, it would be Town and City. Okay, so this is, what, the second biggest stage? I think, I would imagine so. It's definitely top three. But what you're seeing here, especially the platforms, it's giving Aporia more options to recover as well as more options to edge guard. And it's yeah, really definitely. helping. It's helping cover that top recovery. Yeah, that's primarily what those platforms are for for characters that are really good at edge guarding, which... Um, which might be exactly why he picked this stage, like I said earlier. Yeah, so we're gonna see how that turns out. But it looks like looks like Lioness is starting to turn back yes, the tides. Very even game right now. This could go Ooh. either way. And then again, you do have to account for the fact that she does have much higher. Never mind. Percent. Never mind. So now it is very much an uphill battle, just like that, because it, it's gonna take a lot. Unless he gets him at the edge, it's gonna take a lot for him to kill on this stage, especially. See how much damage Aporia can tack on, or maybe even clean out this stock before he goes. See, you can see Aporia is DIing quite well against Linus's combos. I see him catching them a lot with these uh, forwards. Um, Ooh, he's probably not going to be able to recover that. That's it. Linus at 29%, one stock each. Let's see how this turns. Still doing very well. down air gets punished for it. Line is trying to approach. That's going for some forward tilts, but gets punished with jab combo. PK freeze comes out. Right gets now, punished. Both of these uh, both of these players are going for a lot of hard reads right now. Like that's the main thing I've been noticing. Yeah, today. it's been definitely combo heavy, predicting the eye. Oh, yeah, you saw that up, up smash. It was just thrown. Both of them are hard reading each other. Oh! oh! And gets the spike. And so Aporia <laughs> takes it one to one. Now, let's see if Lucas, not Lucas, Linus, switches back. Because I'm interested. I he, definitely think he's going to switch back. The question is, what stage is going to be? He was a bit overconfident with the Sheik pick and got punished for it. So we're going to see how that affects what he picks next. Maybe he'll stay Sheik. We don't Smashville. Know. Okay, so Smashville is actually going to be the opposite of what we've seen before. We've seen kind of both of them avoiding each other and then coming in when one tries to make a hard read. Now we're actually going to see a match where they're very close quarters. I believe this is the smallest map uh, out of all of the legal stages yes. currently. Um, Personally, I always pick this whenever I play a heavy or a character that kills really yeah. fast. So this is an interesting pick because both of these characters... Oh, oh, no. Wow. Ooh, Rosaluma pick. Rosaluma pick, people. We've got a new character trying to get up a new matchup. We're going to see how this turns out. Maybe hit, some, hit him with some character unfamiliarity. Now, in Smash 4, this was actually known as like a laughably horrible matchup for Lucas. So I wonder if that's uh, a bit... Obviously, Smash 4 was an entirely different game, but I feel like the same uh, logic may apply because Rosalina, whenever um, whenever Lucas is recovering with that um, with that upbeat, uh, Rosalina can actually use her downbeat to just absorb it and have Lucas just you know, fall into that. I will say, however, Lucas's PK freeze is significantly buffed, so Rose's recovery, her floaty recovery, might not be the best in this matchup. Yeah, I'm actually wondering about this pick altogether because while Rosalina does have that one advantage, like you said, it 
gets countered by uh, Higgins. Oh, like, that's, like that. the, that's, that's, that's the that's so that's the one. That's the one. Instant making gimp. me eat my words immediately. Instant gimp by Linus. We're gonna see how if he can keep doing it, if he can predict the poor is PK Thunders. I started to think that this might have just been a confidence matchup because he might have just been like, okay, well I almost won with Sheik and my rose is better, so might as well play that. Um, but now I'm starting to think that he actually genuinely thinks he can be better with Rosa in this matchup rather than I think, tonight. yeah, I think it was definitely a, a matchup pick. Something he could use to really get the, the small edge over over yeah. Aporia. We're yeah, I don't think that uh, that he would be. Uh, clearly, these both of these players are pretty far in this bracket. I don't think he would. Um, I don't think he would make a, mis a mistake if it was enough, like, you know, getting cocky on round three on uh, the third game of the set. So I definitely think this was an actual strategy um, that he had, and it actually worked out really well for him. It he is still currently has working lead. out really well. Lucas is over 100, while Rosa still has three stocks. Linus is doing amazing right now. Yeah, this is actually this is such an improvement over his Sheik. Um, I'm not sure about how much of an improvement it is over his Meta Knight. Are we going to see it again? Oh, no, we're dodging back to stage. All right, he's going to back throw. No forward, though. Almost takes it. The Blast Zones on Smashville are actually very large compared to what the stage uh, would have you believe. Compared to the stage, it's actually about Trying the get the size. pummel. Trying to get that pummel damage. Ooh, this ain't looking good. This ain't. I am surprised at how late these guys are dying at the um, stage one smash. 191 still survived. Neutral air almost takes it. Luma's gone. This is tough. He keeps trying to two frame the lead because he knows that he can't teleport to the edge. See if he can. And the back air takes it. Ooh. All right, now. Uh, Two stocks no. against one stock. Aporia has a mountain to climb. Yep. Linus is up a full stock, and if he can gimple once with that recovery, it is over. He's got to play this very carefully. The back throw gets that to Nair. Kana bait out another Nair, gets it. I know he's a very hard read player, but he can't get in here right now. This is the worst time for him to get patient. Luma's out. Oh, is he? I wonder why he keeps opting to cover high because uh, with Lucas, a character that would just be sent into free fall after that, I'm not sure how good of a strategy that is. But we see him being very conservative with how much he uses those. Um, to, oh, it's, it's a new stage. He's being very conservative with how much he uses up because after that first stock, I wouldn't want to be using my up much either. He gets rid of Luma by spiking him. That's how you do it. Here, got him on the edge. Ooh, these, dude, these down smashes, they're working out really well for him. Oh, that might clear it out. I thought he was gonna Lucas up is on the Lucas on ledge, rolls out a ledge. Oh, this might be it for people. Yeah, I think it's that early kill that really did him in this round because I feel like they're, they're be, they've been playing incredibly equally, but. Dying at that early percent just wasn't. Oh, Ooh, oh gets that's him with the down it. Air. Linus's constant character swap, I think for a little bit, really helped him out in healing out Aporia.